Hi guys, Destiny here from the Lex Fag. And I'm not in the studio today because I'm not in the studio. But I'm giving you this awesome tip to help improve your travel experience. Here are four essential apps I think you should have when you're planning to travel because summer is coming. So, you know, summertime. So generally, I'm breaking these apps into four categories, um, which I consider like the most important, in my own opinion, which is the need to eat, communicate, locate yourself, and security. These are the four categories I'll be using to group this set of apps into. Now, the good thing is that not only one app works for each of these categories, but I'll just be telling you the ones I've used and the ones that I feel might be best for you. So when it comes to eating, Uber Eats, is amazing they're in about 45 countries i'll leave a list of all the countries they're in the user experience of that app is amazing considering the covid restrictions when you're traveling restaurants might not really be you know open to align you go out and eat uber eats is an amazing app that you can install and get food from around your location also uses to discover restaurants around you and you know have an idea about their price list that i would definitely recommend i've used it and when I traveled, it was amazing. Getting amazing deals and discounts off the Uber app. Next thing off the list would be communication. Now, when you're traveling to a new place or place you're not that familiar with, you need to have some form of communication either with your agency or with your family back home. There'll be two apps in this category that I've tried and they are WhatsApp and Viber. Now, WhatsApp, you first need to have a registered line on your WhatsApp. But if you're in another country that doesn't use your cell provider, you can always just use Wi-Fi and still communicate people in the app and also call and video call them. Viber also works almost as the same. And in some locations, Viber might actually be more useful to you. But I've been using WhatsApp and I've still been communicating, having my normal day-to-day -day activities with people all around the world. So those are two apps in that category. And uh, the next one I want to talk about is the category of location. Now for finding places to go to, finding your way back to your hotel, or finding the right, the right things to order or ask questions, you will need the Google Map and the Google Translate app. These apps are amazing. The Google Translate enables you to convert text from foreign language into your native language or whichever language you want. It is simply amazing and it will save you a ton of time and questions at bus parks, train stations, even at airports, if there's a certain language you do not understand, the Google Translate app can help you. And for example, if you're traveling to a country and you're not sure you have Wi-Fi there, you can download that country's language so you can be able to use it offline when you get there and you're not stranded. It can help you go a long way. Trust me, you don't want to be stranded in a country where they don't speak your native language or speak English and nobody there can help you. The Google Translate app and the Google Map is your friend now the final and very important will be security now when you're traveling definitely you have access you need wi-fi and you have a lot of free wi-fi's at airports train stations bus stations hotels now not all free wi-fi's are secured and hackers can be monitoring your information over the internet so when you're using things like your banking app your passwords or your vital information can be stolen and used maliciously this is where a VPN comes in place. A VPN would help you solve all the security needs. The VPN I'm using currently is Surfshark VPN. It is affordable for about, I don't know the amount. I'll put the amount here, I'll go and check. But it is super affordable. You can protect your data and your information. You'll rest assured even when you're using like a free Wi-Fi that nobody is actually having access to information you don't want them to have access to. It. And you know, it comes with the perks like watching Netflix in that local environment, or maybe if you're in another environment and you want to watch Netflix or what's happening in your own hometown, you can just switch your VPN location and you rest assured. So that's it guys. And I hope this video was essential and I hope it was useful. If it was useful, a like, a comment, and also a subscription guys. A lot of you that watch my video don't subscribe according to these metrics. Nah, I'm kidding. I love you guys. So just for good measures, when traveling, if you're confused on how to start or how to go about it, if you're in Nigeria, you can use an agency called Wakana. Disclaimer, this is no advertisement for Wakana, but I use them to plan my travel 
and my hotel accommodation. It was amazing. And even when I got to the country and I had some hiccups, I was able to call them and they resolved it, got me a new hotel, upgraded my hotel experience. So I would definitely recommend Waka now for you to use if you're confused on how to start and booking your hotels and travels and things like that. And I'll leave a freebie. The freebie I'm leaving in this, <laughs> in this video is one app that everyone thinks is unnecessary until it becomes necessary and that is the weather app that's on the iOS. Um, you can use the Google weather or any other Android weather app to actually know the type of weather you're getting yourself into. I wasn't so prepared for where I was traveling to and right now it's about four degrees. My hands are literally shaking, my legs are shaking, but yeah, it's for the love of it. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was useful to you. Don't forget to share it to someone that might need this. Summer is coming. Let's stay safe. Remember, always use your face masks and stay safe, guys. That'll be all for today. Catch you next time. Peace.